Good Monday makers, it's time for another community build roundup. And in this week's episode, we're going to be checking out some garden bed frames, a truck bed shell, conduit riv nuts, a solar panel stand, and a really cool go kart. All kinds of awesome projects and cool things that we'll talk about within each of them. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up are these garden bed frames from Nancy. And she shared a photo a little while ago of kind of the before photo. And she was getting ready for gardening and wanted to make frames. It was kind of just this big, large structure that she had in mind. And here she is a few months later, and she's put them in place. And now she's got these modular frames that she called them. And basically what she did is she just used maker pipe connectors to build rectangular frames over the garden beds or kind of around the garden beds and then join them together, uh, you know, with different connectors, as you can see. And she said this is modular because she's going to be able to adapt it for different things throughout the gardening season. So it's getting cooler now. We're moving into winter. You might want to add some frost protection to protect the plants as it gets colder. But then once you know spring rolls around, you might want to add trellising so that the plants have some support that they can climb up. And you know you can adjust this. You can add some sun shades for when it gets really hot to protect the plants from the sun or even to protect yourself from the sun. You can put sunshade over the walkway in some of these areas here. We've seen that really commonly uh, with some builds from the community. And so that's why she called this modular frame because she has all kinds of different possibilities now. And I think she mostly used, it looks like a lot of T connectors. I'm sure some 90 degree connectors in there to make this kind of three-way corner connection in a lot of the garden beds, but really awesome and uh, really great structure all in all that she customized and again has modular possibilities for whatever part of the season that she's doing some gardening. So thanks so much, Nancy, for sharing this. Really great ideas and uh, we really appreciate it. Next up is this truck bed topper from Tim. And he said he's been wanting one of these for a long time, but he said it's kind of hard to find some of them for a shorter bed truck. So he needed to make one himself and he wanted to you know, cover the bed, I think he said for his son's scouting events. Uh, so they wanted to have you know, a covered area, maybe they're hauling some materials and wanted to kind of make just a simple cover. So what he did, he just got a few pieces of conduit, he had a pipe bender, I think he said he got it at a yard sale for just a few bucks, which is a good find, and basically just has the uh, conduit mounted in the holes here in the bed that go up, he just bent 90 degree corners, or probably like a little bit less than 90 degrees, uh, to make the you know the kind of angled kind of match the, uh, the the shape of the roof here, and basically just you know bent two pipes just like that, mounted those to the bed, and then did some cross braces with T connectors. And I think he said he ran out of T's and he's waiting on some more, and he's going to finish up the frame. But he said now he can just get some tarp and he can you know add that over top of the frame and secure it in place. And now he's got a really inexpensive truck bed topper for his short bed truck. And he's excited, and I uh, think it looks great, and it's going to be really cool. So thanks so much for sharing that, Tim. Awesome project. Next up is a really interesting one from William. He said oftentimes he needs to be able to thread something into the walls of conduit. And in the past, he's drilled a hole and then welded a nut inside of the conduit wall here, as you can see. But he recently realized that you can add a rib nut to the wall of conduit. I think he said he called Granger Supply, and they kind of walked him through the process. And basically, he just drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the conduit wall and then used the riv nut and the tool here. I think, oh, there's the riv nut. Basically, just set that down inside the, the tool and then you use, or inside the conduit, and then you use this tool to kind of pop it in place. And uh, there's a whole procedure. He shared the instructions. And uh, if you go to his post, that'll be linked down below, you can see exactly which one he used. I think he, uh, he might have provided a link. If not, I think he explained which one that he used. But here you can see when it's inserted in the conduit wall and it looks really clean, has a nice finish, and you'll be able to thread something into the side of conduit, which is really awesome. We've talked a lot about threading stuff into the end of conduit using the threaded pipe inserts, but this is another option for if you need to go into the wall of conduit. So really cool, William. Thanks so much for sharing this. Next up is a solar panel stand from Jim. And this is really cool. And there's a technique in here that I really love, and I missed it at first glance. Somebody commented on the YouTube community post about this, and it showed me or kind of made me look closer, and I realized there's a really cool technique in here. So basically, for starters, we can see the EMT conduit frame that he made, just customize the dimensions to fit the solar panel perfectly, and this is just one of those flexible fold-out solar panels. And he basically just made one you know, rectangle and then just added a kickstand with a T-connector. Nice, simple design 
and uh, looks really great, really effective. But if you didn't notice how he secured the solar panel was basically he replaced the hardware that comes with the T connectors or with any of the connectors, really. He just, you know, removed that hardware and found a longer six millimeter uh, or sorry. Yeah, it, it is an M6 bolt, but he found a longer uh, thread. So it's probably, I would say probably like 35 millimeters if I had to guess. Doesn't have to be too much longer, but basically the bolt goes through the connector, through the other side, and then through the solar panel, as you can see. And then he replaced the nut for the T connector that's included and used a M6 wing nut instead and just hand tightened the solar panel to the frame and secured everything together, as you can see. And that's a really cool technique. I think this is the first time that we've seen this. We've talked about it here and there, kind of you know, of replacing hardware to, to do other things. But this is a really clever technique to, to attach the solar panel. So really awesome. Thanks so much for sharing this, Jim. A great project. Last but not least is a really awesome go-kart from Mario from MIA Microflight. He has a great YouTube channel. He does a lot of uh, ultralights, or I guess, I think they're called ultralights, even though it's still like a micro RC thing. Uh, but he does all kinds of really cool stuff, and he has a website you can check out for uh, RC remote control, different things. And a couple years ago, he started a project where he was getting one of those hoverboards, taking it apart and converting it into a maker pipe go-kart. And his goal was to use all connectors and all conduit or as much as possible for the frame. And here he is a few years later with an update for us. And it looks fantastic. He's done all kinds of really clever stuff. And he's, and he's done a few different YouTube videos as well. I think he did a walkthrough of the frame and also explained how he designed the frame and kind of where the inspiration came from. And I'll link that down below. And basically you can see the whole thing is made out of the empty conduit and maker pipe, including the spindles here, which is really fascinating. Uh, basically he took some conduit and bent it over and kind of flattened it and made a spindle out of it for the wheels. And he incorporated, of course, the, the turning mechanism for the front axle and the, the rear. You can see the hoverboard uh, guts that he took out to turn into the electric motor for this. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here that he did. And it's uh, just really fascinating stuff. And like I said, he's doing some really great YouTube videos, including one on the control panel that he's making for all the different controls you would need for the go-kart and the electric system. So that's really cool. So definitely check out his post and his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. And I'll, I'll link all these builds down below so you can check any of these in more detail if you'd like. Thanks, everybody, for posting them. Keep them coming, and we'll keep doing these episodes. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.